So hey guys, it's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm deciding to like layer up my hair a little bit. I'm talking about because my husband is asleep. So yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm deciding to cut my hair up a little bit and to give it some layers. I curled it, but like I wasn't really liking how the curls were laying. So I decided, hey, why not cut it to see if I like it a little better. Now I've already started to like snip a little bit. Well, I pretty much did this whole side, but of course I may have to like clean it up a little bit, but so far I really haven't done much. So I just wanted to show you guys, I decided it'll be a good job, good idea for me to show you guys how I am doing this. So yeah, hope y'all enjoy, let's get started. So pretty much all that I've been doing, is a mirror right here, and I know you guys can see it's a mirror right here. I use both of them so I can see the front and back of my hair. So I know you guys can see kind of, I don't know if you can, yep, you actually can. I've actually started to layer the wig a little bit. It was all one length, but I decided to give it some layers so it can have a little more volume. So pretty much all I'm doing, I'm just gonna show you really quick before I start cutting some more. Um, doing like the basic lay, the basic uh, guy lines that I learned when I was in school. So pretty much you start it off and then I actually have a guy, I have a spot where I already started cutting, which is right here, as you guys can see. So I pretty much just take it from there and then I like cut it down. Like, But I'm doing it at an angle because I don't want it to be, I don't want to cut it all off. I want to make it so it gradually goes into the length so I'm not taking away of any of the length. So pretty much all I do, I find that piece. Hopefully I make it sense you guys. I find that piece right here and then I just like slide the scissors down so I get to the end so here we have a nice little layer going and that's pretty much all I've been doing I really I really suck at like explaining things but again like I said it's like three o'clock in the morning and so I just wanted to show y'all so I pretty much they call it a traveling guideline, right? So it's where you take a piece from the section that you already cut and then you add it to the next section. So they call it a traveling guideline. So I just pretty much cut the first section in half and then I added it to the next section so that I could make a guide so that all the hair pretty much be even. So right here, here's that guide right there. So I'm just gonna start it from there. Start it from right there. And I'm actually cutting at an angle. So just pretty much slide the scissors down till you get to the end and boom. Take the next piece, do the same thing. And when I get to the back, this one is gonna get a little more tricky just because I am cutting this myself. There's that guideline right there. I'm gonna take it from right there, boom, and then just start gliding the scissors down till you get to the end, boom. And all it is is like, it's just adding a little bit more volume to the hair than what it was. Like before it was more flat. I didn't really do anything to this side, but as you can see from this side, the curls have fallen a little bit, but if I curl the hair up, it gives it a lot more volume. So that's what we want. So I'm pretty much just doing the same thing. I'll explain it one more time. So find that guideline that you started with right here. You guys see that? And I'm taking it from that guideline. And really, I'm just cutting. All the way down. Not really taking off that much. This is about how much has been taken off from each section. I don't want it to fall. I'm just gonna wrap this towel around just so you guys can really see what I'm talking about. So, as you guys can see, we have a little bit of layering going on on this side. So it's making the wig look a lot like more natural. It's giving it a little more volume. 
yeah. Once I style it, of course, it'll look better, but you guys can see the first guy line is starting like around here, and then it's just gradually going down. So, and this side I didn't really cut, so as you guys can see, didn't lose any of the length. The length is still there. I just added some layers into it. So, let's continue. Uh -uh. I don't know what I was thinking, coming on here with black hair and a black shirt, I don't think y'all was going to see something. Found my guideline right there at the top there. So I'm just going to start from there. Yep. And then I start cutting all the way down to the end. Oh. Um. Got some long layers going on. I'm trying to decide if I actually want to go shorter with the layers. I don't know yet. I think right here is good. Look at that. This camera's not doing any justice. I didn't have some nice curls in here, but I guess since I've been messing with it, kind of just got rid of the curls. It's just okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do from this side is I'm actually gonna take some from this side. I'm gonna put it over on this side and then I'm gonna pretty much part the hair, like do a part in the middle, but not really the middle, but it is the middle. See where that first part portion is? Oop, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the remainder of this hair here. Just like that. Straight did this first, but I've been out of school so long, I pretty much just do it the way I wanna do it now. All right, and now you wanna take it and then just go ahead and part it back down the middle. And now you see over here, now this part over here is short. So you can go ahead, it's like you're still following that traveling guideline, but you just took a piece from the other side that was already cut and just matched it up to this side. So we're doing the same thing, finding that guideline, and then it's dragging the scissors down. So I've got a line right here. There's hairs that are over it, but I've got a line that's sitting right there. That's where it's cut off, right there. You guys see? So it's kind of making a natural, like, face framing type thing going on. I'm trying to decide still if I want to take it shorter so it's really framing my face or what. We'll figure that out here shortly. So to check, to make sure you're even, what I'm gonna do is, like I was parting the hair off earlier, I'm gonna part the hair off the same way. Just wanna make sure I have like a nice even cut going down. See how that is? It's not very even, huh? So what you wanna do is go ahead in where it stops. Let's go ahead and even that out. It's always good to double check your work because you can think that it's together, but it's really not, you know? That's a better, that's better there. That was at a diagonal, that's what we want. I think I'm good now. So what I'm gonna do now is to make sure it's really even, is take the two front pieces here. So this piece, 
this piece come down I'm just going to make sure they're even across which they are they're even across just so you guys see we're still the same length going across we haven't lost any length here's a back view I'm showing you guys what the back looks like before I look at it can you guys see those layers hopefully you can I kind of want to curl it really quick just to see how it's going to fall on now. First curl is the tightest curl. Now I get the idea. Why oh, so? Here's like the finished product, pretty much. So as you guys can see, my layer start pretty much around here, and then it just goes down from there. It just gave a little bit more volume. That's it. That's it. That's all. And hopefully you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button down below. Getting these videos out for y'all. Out for y'all, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload videos like this because we stay litty over here. And yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. 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 But yeah, I'm tired, y'all. So, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!